Hey guys, it's Peyton and today I'm going to be recommending books based on Christmas songs. Now, this is actually going to be using the book tag that was created by, is it Haley and Bookland? I think so. And it is the Christmas song book tag. She made it forever ago and I thought this would be a really good opportunity to give you some book recommendations based off some classic Christmas songs that we all have heard and probably loved at some point in our lives. I think I got some good books to talk about and discuss us today so I can't wait to get started let's just go ahead and get started okay <laughs> I got a little Santa in the background I got a little Clarice I have a Rudolph Build-A-Bear but I do not know where it is so for now we got Clarice <laughs> I don't know what the frick just happened to me right there. The Grinch is popping out or something. The first song is Your Mean One, Mr. Grinch. And for this, it is to name a villainous character you couldn't help but love. So I'm being basic for this one. <laughs> but if I'm being honest, I literally cannot think of another villain that has stuck with me the way this villain has. And I know there's probably some people out there who still haven't read from this series. The villain actually has their very own novella, so I'm going to talk about that today. It is Ferris by Marissa Meyer. She wrote the Lunar Chronicle series, starting off with Cinder, then Scarlet and Cress, and then Winter, and then we also have this novella all about Queen Lavana, the queen of the moon. She can freaking mind control, and she literally can change her appearance in your brain. Like she can look any way she wants. Like she's like an illusion. It's so interesting. And in this book, we see like how the frick she came to be, how weird she is. And this whole thing, she never will go on video because her illusion will get messed up. She does not do mirrors because her illusion will get messed up. And it's just like, why is she hiding so much? And there's just so much interesting shit about this woman. And that's what makes this series that much more fun. It is fairy tale retelling starting off with Cinderella, Red Ride, Red, Red Riding Hood? Wait, what? Is that what it is? It is Red Riding Hood. Okay, I'm like literally having a moment here. And then we have Rapunzel, which is like one of my favorite freaking fairy tales. I love Tangled so much. And then we have Snow White. It's so much fun because we just, there's so many characters, this huge cast of characters that you just fall in love with. And then such a compelling villain. So I definitely recommend these, especially if you're trying to get someone like a series to get into for Christmas, like a whole box set or something. The Lunar Chronicles would definitely be a good way to go. So the next song is All I Want for Christmas is You. Which book do you most hope to see under your Christmas tree? So a book I'm really wanting right now and honestly if I got it for Christmas it would be too late because it's a Christmas themed book and like once Christmas is over I'd be too freaking sad to read a Christmas book. Christmas flies by so quickly like the day of Christmas it never feels like Christmas. The next day you're like oh dang it was Christmas. It's over now. That happy little moment is gone. <laughs> I really want to read In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. I've almost let myself buy it a few times but I just won't let myself do it because I'm like, okay, will you actually read it? Like, I really want to read it, but I'm also trying to read so much this month. So I'm like, watch me get the book and then not even read it this Christmas. And I'd have to wait till next Christmas. That's the dilemma I have right now, but I think it'd be so much fun. Christina Lauren is actually two authors. They're like a little best friend duo, which is so funny to me. All I know is it's one of those situations, like the common trope of like a day repeating over and over again. I believe there's like a cabin she goes to like every Christmas or every like winter, and it's just such a good time, and this year is going to be the last time ever. I'm assuming there's some romantic interest involved at this cabin, and she's driving away and then I guess she blacks out or something and boom the day is repeating and I love stories like that it's just so much fun and I literally want this book so bad my friend Brittany just read it and she said it was super cute and fun the next song is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer name a character that overcomes major obstacles and learns to believe in themselves I'm so pissed that I can't find my Rudolph freaking Build-A-Bear but here's Clarice his girlfriend <laughs> The book that I'm recommending for this is Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson. So this works for this question because, I don't know, it's kind of complicated because I feel like the character Enchanted, she starts off pretty confident. She's like a singer. She's like trying out for 
some singing competition that could get her like winning big and she's pretty confident in her skills but she ends up meeting this guy i forgot his name it is corey fields he's like a huge celebrity to people he has so many albums and i believe he's like 30 or something like that and she's 17. so he ends up meeting her getting her number just being really weird ends up offering to like help her musically and ends up being just a really gross situation and enchanted finds herself in such a bad situation with it with this man and at first like she's so excited because this man she's always like idolize like someone who's so musically talented like she's wanted to know this dude for so long as most people in the world probably do and now that she's getting his attention she's so like thrilled about it at first but as things go on it just gets scarier and scarier and it's just such a disgusting story of this man but also a beautiful story of enchanted learning to break free from this situation and literally such a terrifying book but so important because I feel like this could bring so many red flags to young girls that might be in a situation like this. And there's a huge message about how it's not the girl's fault. It is the person in power, the one that is way older than the other person that is being a pedophile. Like they're the one making the wrong decision. It is nothing on the minor. It should never be thrown on them. How are they supposed to know better? The older person in the situation should have known better and it's such a powerful message. She goes through a terrible journey but in the end I feel like she she is a, such a strong person and Rudolph, I guess. Like, I guess it goes with the song. I don't know. <laughs> the next song is Santa Claus is Coming to Town. And this song has two parts to the question. And it says, which character do you think would be on the top of the naughty list? I have a Funko Pop of this person. President freaking Snow. Oh my gosh, all this dust just flew. He's a maraca for some reason. I don't know. I got him used. So someone created a maraca in his brain but I don't mind it he looks great as a Funko Pop and President Snow you know the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes came out this year I loved that book a lot of people hated it but I was one of the people that loved it and I have a whole review and a vlog I'll link one of them in the cards so you can go watch it but he's a disgusting man and the whole point of that book was really to show his villain origin story and like how disgusting of a person he is and just to show like the history behind the Hunger Games in general it was so interesting to me and there were so many easter eggs to the Hunger Games series I enjoyed it I ate it up and I really hate this man and I know there's some people that low-key like was liking him for a second there. I hated him the whole time in the book and that was the whole point of the book in my opinion. You can fight me on it. <laughs> I feel like in the Hunger Games trilogy, like yeah, he was a dark villain and we hated him. Yeah, but I feel like we didn't have that much information about him and the new book really gave us that information. So he is definitely on the naughty list. Number one, he's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> the second part of the question is who's going to be on the nice list. I have two people that deserve the world and I also have Funko Pops of them. You can probably already tell. Katniss and Peeta, they deserve everything. <laughs> I love them dearly. Nothing will ever stop that love that I have. They went through so freaking much in their lives and all they deserve is peace and happiness and quiet little silent good times in their lives. So they're going to be on the top of the nice list and they're going to get all of the things that they ever wanted <laughs> and that's gonna be together forever the next song is frosty the snowman which book just melts your heart a book that really freaking destroyed me this year but like melted it in a good way at the same time was the sun is also a star by nicola yoon i read this in like a day or two listened to it on audiobook it's all about falling in love in one freaking day daniel freaking sees natasha and he's like in love man he's like whoa this girl is okay but natasha our main girl she is about to be deported with her family to jamaica because her family is undocumented and they're about to have to go to Jamaica and she's really freaking sad about it obviously because she's been living in New York her whole life and everything is about to be ruined pretty much and on the day that she is like trying to go to lawyers and shit and trying to get this to stop like the last day in New York that they have she comes across Daniel he is Korean American okay I, I love him so much I love them both so much they just have a whole bunch of shit go down and this is insta love obviously it's one day romance it's an insta love situation I hate insta love I was so like nervous for this book because I was like am I going to like it like I hate concepts like this it has to be 
really well done. The chemistry has to be there because I need to believe it because I believe that something weird like this can happen. It happens for some people, but you have to make me feel it if it's in a book. Like I need to feel the chemistry and the emotion pouring through. The conversations have to be spot on and that's what this book gave me. I fell in love with these two characters. I fell in love with the romance and it was just such a fun time. I watched the movie and it's just so good. The next song is Feliz Navidad. Choose a book that takes place in a country other than your own. So the book I chose takes place a little bit in America and the other half of the Dominican Republic. So I'm counting it. And it is Clap When You Land by Elizabeth. Elizabeth Acevedo and this is a really sad book just warning you it is about two sisters that don't even know each other exist they're half sisters their father was living a dual life between the Dominican Republic and New York two different wives at the same time two different daughters he is on a plane ride to go back to the Dominican Republic to see one of his daughters and it crashes obviously he dies <laughs> and why am I laughing like I, this is such a sad freaking book and such a freaking tearjerker these two sisters end up finding out about each other because of his death and they end up connecting it's kind of a hard experience at first because it's just like wow like my dad was way different than I thought he was living a dual life that I never knew about obviously that would be really hard to handle but they end up coming together and like grieving together. It's also written in verse. I know that's not everybody's cup of tea, but wow, is it gorgeous. I love Elizabeth Acevedo's writing style. I'm so here for it. Some people wouldn't be, so maybe know that going into it that maybe you won't be into it, but honestly, go to a bookstore, pick it up and like start reading some of it. And if you're vibing with it, it's for you. <laughs> the next song is, it's the most wonderful time of the year. And the question for this is which holiday theme book do you use to spread the Christmas joy? So honestly, there's really not that many Christmas books. Like I literally think this is the only Christmas book I've ever freaking read. And thank goodness I like it. <laughs> I've read a bunch of books that have Christmas like involved in the book, but never like fully centered around Christmas. And I feel like authors just don't really do that as much at least in YA, because you really only read this book at one time of the year. People would only be purchasing it at one time of the year, so I can see why people wouldn't be so drawn to write a Christmas book. You've probably heard of it, but the afterlife of Hall- the afterlife? We're not talking about head itching, okay? The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hand is so freaking well done. It is a Christmas Carol retelling, and it's about our main character, Holly, She's a bad person at the opening of this book. You know, Scrooge, like it's it's not cute. Like we don't like her. She gets warned by the ghosts of Christmas past and she does not fall for the warning. She ends up continuing to be a bad person. And I think that means she dies and she gets stuck with this company called Project Scrooge. And they're all behind the ghosts of Christmas past. And every year they're trying to get in contact with these bad people and trying to change their ways in the hopes that things will be okay and they won't freaking die. So <laughs> Holly is one of those ghosts now because you know, if you fail, you end up becoming one of the ghosts and she ends up haunting this dude. He's terrible just like she was in the past. She's kind of fallen in love with him even though he's terrible. I guess he's kind of hot or whatever. And it sounds freaking cheesy, but the way like they're both so flawed and somehow like the the book kind of comes through to them and we see them deal with their issues and start to acknowledge like the bad things that they do. Like I just think it's such a satisfying book because you just see like flawed characters start to realize like wow I'm a bitch <laughs> and I definitely think it's a very heartwarming Christmas story and I definitely want to reread it for this Christmas. I might do a whole reading vlog of me rereading it so if you're interested in that let me know. The next song is Sleigh Ride. Which fictional character would you choose to spend the holidays with? And it doesn't have to be a love interest. So I recently read One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston and I loved this so much. It's an arc so it comes out in June 2021. I got it early. I won it in a giveaway and I'm so happy about it and I have a whole vlog about it. Oh no my boyfriend's here. I gotta hide his present that I have out. Come say hi. I was in the middle of talking. What's up, bitch? What's up? Oh, um, what? <laughs> Hi. Stop it. Oh, dang it. You distracted me. So I would spend the holidays with Jane from this book because Jane has been through enough and she needs someone to make her happy. And that's going to be me. 
I'm gonna be the person to help and make her happy this holidays because she is a sad little bitch and so is August. Like I want to hang out with both of them and make them happy and just have fun with all of the side characters and everybody in this book because everybody in this book deserves the world. Also this book is a female female romance and it is a time warp situation where August is going on a train every day and there's this girl that's always there wearing the same thing and somehow they're always seeing each other and she ends up realizing that she might be from the 1970s. August is from 2020 so how is this happening and they end up having a little bit of romance but how do you have a romance with someone from the past? And it's all in the description, so I didn't spoil you. The next song is Baby It's Cold Outside. Which book that you didn't like would you sacrifice to a fire to warm yourself up in the cold? For me, I have to say The Betrothed by Kira Cass. This book was poo. I gave it one star. I have a whole vlog of me reading it as well if you want to see me hating on it so much. I listened to the audiobook and it just was so disappointing. Same author of the Selection series, which I love so much, but it lacked every freaking thing that Kierkegaard ever did with the selection series with the romance and the drama. There was no romance that was here to like and there was no drama that was here to care about or eat popcorn too. I'm not even going to tell you the plot because nobody needs to read this. I'm sorry. The final song is Do You Hear What I Hear? And the question is which book do you think everyone should read? Oh my god! <laughs> He just mooned me. I think everybody should read Who I Was With Her by Nita Tyndall. I don't see many people talking about this book, so I definitely want to get it out in the open that this book is really freaking good. It is about a girl from North Carolina. I'm from North Carolina, so I was instantly intrigued. It is a closeted bisexual girl. She's dating this other girl, and they've been dating for a year, and then that girl freaking dies in a car crash, tragically, and no one knows they were dating. No one even knows they were friends, so she's tr having to mourn in private and be alone, and it's so freaking sad, and the main character, Corinne, she ends up connecting with one of Maggie, the girlfriend who died, ex-girlfriends, and they're just connecting over losing someone so important to everybody, and there's also a lot of flashbacks where you could see Corinne and Maggie's relationship form. You end up shipping them so freaking hard, and it's tragic. It's such a powerful read, and I feel like it could help so many people, and I loved it freaking so much, and I highly recommend it. So that is it for this video. Ooh. He just booed me. You're pretty. I am pretty. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching it. I hope you got a book that you didn't hear about before with this video. Like it, comment down below. Have a good day. Please subscribe. Make sure to follow all my social medias, which are linked down below, and go click the bell button, which is right by the subscribe button, which you should have already clicked, and goodbye. <laughs>